Elmer Lucille Allen is 89 years young, but still hasn't started to even slow down. In today's Moments That Matter, we're looking at how this Louisville native understands the power of numbers. She's known for the beautiful artwork, but Elmer Lucille Allen's knowledge runs deeper. I am an African-American young lady, 89 years young. I retired from Brown Foreman in 1997 as the first African-American chemist at Brown Foreman. And I analyze the raw products that go into making whiskey corn, rye, and malt. And then, uh, and, but you think about it, I came along during a time when, con before computers came into existence, uh, before, uh, before uh, analytical things became com uh, computerized. She grew up in West Louisville. She attended Perry Elementary, Madison Junior High, and Central High School, graduating in 1949 with honors, then attended Louisville Municipal College with a focus in chemistry and mathematics. Louisville Municipal College was formed in 1931 by the University of Louisville for African American students, and it closed in, in June of 1951. And when they closed, I went to Nazareth, which is now Spalding University. And the reason why whites and blacks could not go to school together was because of the day law. The mother of three, grandmother, and two-time cancer survivor is a source of encouragement in trying times. I could not find a job in Louisville as a chemist. So I, my first job was as a clerk typist in Fort Benjamin Harrison in Annapolis. And I tell everybody, a job is, whatever job you get, is better than no job at all. And I look at these young people now, that they do not want to take a job that's not in their field, but they don't realize that you can learn a lot from whatever job that you're in. The ceramic and fiber artist has a mural in the 900 block of South Jackson. In it, you can see Alan as a child celebrating after selling the most Girl Scout cookies. When you talk about that mural, that mural you see my mother, my grandmother, and me when I was nine years old. Allen has been a member of the first African-American sorority, Alpha Kappa Alpha, for 70 years, and she's experienced a lot in her lifetime. So you lived through the segregation? Yes. You lived through civil rights? Yes. You experienced voting rights for African-Americans? Yes. You lived through multiple wars? Y yes. You experienced and lived through the assassinations of Dr. King President Kennedy, Megar Evers, and Malcolm X. Yes, I did. That was something else too. When Obama took, walked across that, you know, when he took the inauguration. And when you sit down and think that now you've had an African-American president, and now you have an African-American female vice president. And I never thought that I would see either one of those in my lifetime. To learn more about Elmer Lucille Allen and her upcoming art shows, text HISTORY to 502-582-7290. We will send the information straight to your phone and also links to our previous stories if you want to watch those again.